so yeah hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel uh, so in this video uh, we will be doing a 2d static stress analysis in ansys using apdl so for this question what we will do is we will create a rectangular geometry with a three uh, circular holes through holes in it and then we will apply the given boundary conditions and see the result what what result we will get so yeah let's begin with this uh, question uh, first we will go to preference first we will open the apdl mechanical apdl and we will go to preferences we will select structural now click ok now we will select the material click on preprocessor go to element type add yeah add we will select solid quad 4 node 182 click ok now we will give material properties for this element so we will go to material properties material models under structural we will go to linear elastic isotropic and then ex means young's modulus 70 e9 and poison ratio 0.3 this this values are given in question click ok now we have defined the material models material properties along with the material selection now we will go to modeling and we will create the model so under modeling we will go to create under then areas we will go to rectangle and by dimension so in x1 and x2 we will put 0 and 0 0.5 in y1 and y2 we will put 0 and 0 0.2 so by doing this what will it will do is it will create a rectangular surface rectangular plate with two corners 0 comma 0 and another 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.2 so yeah now we will create circle in this a rectangular plate we will go to circle under creating and solid circle so in this uh, boxes we will put the values so i will put the values given in the question that is 0 0.25 0 0.1 0 0.01 click apply again 0 0.23 0 0.1 0 0.005 click apply again 0 0.27 0 0.1 0 0.005 click ok now you can see we have three circles in the rectangular plate after doing this what we will do is we will subtract the circle from the sub plate so that we can get a through hole in the plate for this we will go to operate and then since addition subtractions are boolean expressions so we will go to boolean click on subtract and then areas now first we will select the plate click it two times click ok we will unpick the green part so uh, while selecting the surface we have to uh, the color of the surface should change change the p change to pink now click ok we have selected the uh, rectangular plate now again we will select the circle for this click on circles click on circles click next click ok and then pick on this so first we selected the rectangle uh, rectangle uh, now we will select the uh, circle and click ok this will create a through hole in this plate you can see in the screen after doing this what will we do is uh, we will go to mesh we will mesh it we will go to mesh tool and then we will smart size move the cursor to 5 and click on mesh and click the plate click ok click close now again we will go to mesh tool and then what we will do is we will go to refine at we will drop it down and go to lines and click refine and then we will click at the quadrants each quadrants of these inner circles that is quadrant 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then click ok we will leave the settings as it is and click ok click close it yeah. now we are done with missing now what we will do is we will apply the boundary conditions for this we will go to solution analysis type new analysis static click ok and then we will go to define loads apply structural displacement on lines click the left side of the plate click ok all degree of freedom zero we will fix it click ok again go to apply 
go to structural and then go to pressure click on lines we will click the right side click ok apply the value of minus 1 is 6 the negative sign and positive signs are just uh, to so that positive, positive value respond, corresponds to the compression and the negative to the tension now we will click ok now we have uh, provided the boundary conditions as well we will now solve the structure so we will go to solve current ls click ok s it shows solution is done now we are done with the boundary conditions we have created the model we have applied the boundary conditions now we will check the result to check the result we will go to general post processing under general post processing we will go to plot result and then we will go to deformed shape deformed plus undeformed click ok so you can see by zooming it the deformed and undeformed shapes are clear the white one uh, shows the original position and the blue blue section shows the zoomed, zoomed position uh, the blue section shows the deformed position now again we will go to plot result counter plot nodal solution we will go to then stress and then we will go to first principal stress and click ok so you can see maximum and minimum points this is the minimum and this is the maximum so the rupture point is maximum at this position it will break from here and the minimum rupture point is at this position okay I am zooming it out so yeah again we can <coughs> We can check the vector plot also in the vector plot we will go predefined and then we will click ok so yeah, this is the vector plot of the structure zoom it you will get diff accurate data see the vector plots also you can see the uh, displacements go to nodal solution degree of freedom select x component and drop it down here uh, deformed shape with undeformed models click on apply click ok see you can see the deformed shapes displacement wise deformed shape displacement wise yeah that's it for today you can see the displacement here maximum displacement will be at this point and minimum will be at this point for the plate so yeah in this way you can do a 2d static stress analysis mm, i hope you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends thank you